Americans, and other friends, subscribers around the world. Back again, I'm doing this video. Uh, I'm gonna do it over the next couple of days of uh, just chores and uh, and make some knives and do some of the other stuff. Everybody seemed to like them longer videos, so we're gonna do one of those. I thought I'd just start it off. Not only that, I just wanted to show the. Uh, Actually, a minute ago, I was hoping to catch the, and it was uh, pretty darn nice out here a little while ago. Still pretty darn nice. To go for a ride, Nicholas.
Looky there. Just showing out the window. Need to uh, go out there and start shoveling, I'd say. I think I'll stay in here and drink a couple more cups of coffee first. Looks like we're up, uh, what do you think we got, Miss Kitty? Two and a half, three feet? Pretty close. What do you think, Miss Kitty? Very pretty. <laughs> Thought I'd just go out here and give you started plot or uh, shoveling here. Well, my board ain't working uh, so great with this, so I went to just the old shovel. Pretty much got our pass through here. I'll come out here and show you. My goats, they're just going to be able to step over their, their fence. Man, it is, uh, holy smokes. And then one of the old timers from here, old gal, Bev, great, great lady, she was telling me and Miss Kitty, um, uh, probably three months ago that, um, but this winter, or this uh, fall, and the way the weather was, she said, man, this reminds me of uh, exactly how it was back in 1980. In 1980, uh, they got 11 feet. So, we ain't getting close to 11 feet, but uh, we got a good two and a half feet, probably. One thing that's nice for, uh, for me is this is the first year since I... Uh, got up here and started building everything. This is the first year that I'm not concerned about shoveling roofs off because I've redone and you know built good standing roofs. The first year I built the cabin roof. The first year I built it in 30 days and just with anything I could find so it wasn't all that uh all that stable. But anyway I just wanted to share that for the cabinets party. I'm going back in to warm up. Alright, thought I would uh, come out here. I've been getting to, I started doing this video with saying that I was getting to uh, try to do some more knife making stuff. But I got to dig my uh, forge out. I've actually been forging on a little forge doing some carving knives and everything. I thought I'd come out. Basically I've been dealing with uh, snow a lot. And right now, I don't know if you can hear the wind, but uh, one of the viewers had a great idea is putting a piece of cloth over the little mic on this camera. Hopefully he ain't getting the windows because man, it's blowing like a mother. You can see blue sky today. Um, colder than a which is you know what, I don't know what that really means, but, <laughs> but um, they're calling, uh, supposed to be below zero tonight, and then we're uh, uh, supposed to have a run of three or four days of below zero, we're not supposed to get above freezing for quite a few days, but we're supposed to have another storm come through, but you can see my road in and out of here. Uh, pretty much a nightmare. <laughs> I got stuck, or old red was pulling in here, got stuck yesterday, and I uh, proceeded to help him get unstuck and buried the old Ford four times and ended up weaseling my way out of it. Didn't have to use the winch this time. Got it out so I can go in and out of that. Um, but the way it's looking, I mean, you know, I've never had to, I've never had it plowed. I usually keep pretty much on top of it. But uh, then we got so much dumped that one night that uh, I'm beyond getting on top of it. So we'll wait to see what this next storm and stuff does and. Got somebody that can plow it out or yeah, plow it for me. But uh, 
Christmas and stuff coming. I kind of want to wait for the. It's been a tough uh, November and December. I've you know, been sewing and stuff like that, but um, just a little hint, man. Like we went down below to go through that barn, and that old boy wasn't around. That's a hit. And then, uh, but anyway, um, so after Christmas, I'll probably if it stays like this. I'm gonna have to have this thing plowed out because it's. Uh, and I think I'm going to hook onto my Mazda and pull it out behind the Ford and go over and park it at Katie Joe's. Man, it sure is pretty, I'll tell you that. Man, it is gnarly. But I thought I'd just finish up this video. I, uh, I'll have to start a new one when I go to do knives and stuff. Today we're actually uh, going through some box I'm going to break into the flea market thing and dig through some of it, pull out some, some goodies and stuff to put on eBay and Etsy and stuff like that. I'm going to try to list a bunch of books and stuff on Etsy or get started on that. But anyway, man, you guys all have a wonderful, beautiful day. Man, stay safe out there. I know the, the east, they're getting nailed to the whole country pretty much. So be safe out there and careful and all that. And I'm sure we'll do a little check-in for Christmas time.